It all got started with the chaplain came to a missions meeting and he was talking about what they need at the jail ministry. They were sort of in crisis at the Haven. And he said, I could use somebody to teach English as a second language. And so that just set off fireworks in my head. And so I went down and got approved and started teaching English. I've never taught English. I didn't know anything about it. Um, I really just wanted an opportunity to be there with the women who were being held by ICE. I just wanted to be av av available. So now I'm teaching English once a week to anywhere from five to 15 women at the jail. Being with women who, who have struggled most of their lives and who live now and have lived on the margins is, is such an incredible blessing. It just puts me so in touch with, with women who, who have struggled, you know, just about every day of their lives. Well, we have a team of eight or 10 people, and some of them, I've been there for over 25 years, and some of them have been there longer than that. Um, we go down and um, we prepare and serve a meal. It's a really necessary ministry. I thought that the numbers would go down after school started, but it, they've gone up. I have to keep buying more food. Um, the numbers just keep going up and up. I'm going to do it as long as I can physically do it. And on the days, some days, if I can't go all the way down there, um, the, I just tell Sharon and she takes over and does it. But I can usually at least get the food ready for her to take. So it's, it's a wonderful group. And we're doing something that's really necessary. I feel blessed to be put in a position to be able to uh, use my um, gifts and talents in, in a number of ways. One is the Sheriff Center uh, downtown. Um, for the last several years, three or four years, we've provided a hot meal for approximately 80 uh, uh, folks down there. These are people who are on the fringes of society. Some of them are homeless, some of them are just struggling with life. But to provide them with a hot meal uh, not only sustains them for another day, but gives them hope and connects them with people in the community that they might not have any interaction with. And the other thing is, the other program is the concert series, which we started again about seven years ago. And um, we, we do that twice a year to bring in quality entertainment as a gift uh, to the community, but, but uh, beyond that, it's really a way that we can partner with local nonprofits. We've helped Safe Place, we've helped the Haven um, Ministry uh, project down there. Uh, Habitat for Humanity is going to be our recipient for the concert coming up in a couple weeks. I started painting nails at the Heritage probably four years ago. Um, it was something that when I was in high school, I volunteered at a nursing home and everyone at that nursing home at that time talked about how much it meant to them to feel pretty again and taken care of. Um, and quite a few of them don't have anybody who comes and sees them or who trims their nails or kind of does things like that. And it just makes me feel good to help out. And I was fortunate enough to have the time and the talent to do it. There was a lady at the nursing home, her name was Jane and her and I started talking quite frequently. I'd see her every week, and I still do. Um, and she told me how much it meant to her to go to church, and I asked her what church she went to, and she said Chapel Hill. And so we started talking about how I go there sometimes. This is the church I was married through. This is the church my boys are baptized through, but I don't get here as often as I should. And so it became mutually beneficial. I got to take her and spend time with her so she was able to come to church and it was more of a motivator to help me want to be here. One of the things that I do is um, I go out to Lakeview Senior um, Center um, the first Sunday of every month to have a, a worship service with them. Weekends for the people there um, are lonely. They don't have, I don't think a lot of the people have a lot, of, a lot of family visiting on the weekends, and there's no activities. We have um, music and uh, devotions and um, prayer time. It makes me feel like I'm 
contributing um, by sharing my faith with others. And we go at four o'clock in the afternoon and meet the residents and have a time of prayer and devotion, music and fellowship. And I tell you, um, all of us who have been involved are blessed beyond measure. I know that as they, I sit there with them, I am sitting with men and women of great faith who could easily teach me lots of life lessons. And uh, I just go away always feeling most blessed. We have all